Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to share with you a project that I made using my um, design team dies from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, Erica has some great dies in her um, store right now and more new ones coming out, so cute. Here is all of Erica's information, the hashtag to follow when you, um, you know, when you use some of her dies and make a make a project, upload your project to that um, hashtag and check there also for inspiration. So anyway, um, I am going to show you the dies that I used in this project first off. <clears throat> first off, I used the bag maker. Must have die. <laughs> it's just these three pieces. It's two sides and the bottom, okay, to make a bag. So I used that. And then I used the double loop scallop bow. This is number two. This comes with two different sizes. I used the small one on this project, I think. Pretty sure. <laughs> I usually use the smaller ones more than I use the bigger ones, but anyway. So that one. And, and then I use the butterfly. Um, butterfly bow. Love this one too. It makes so many, you get so many different sizes and layering pieces. You can just do one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers of not only the butterfly, but also, you know, of the bow part. And let's see. And then I also use, I'm using this one, which is the flower shaker mini album. Love it also. I'm also using the Capsella, uh, Capsella leaves up here. Love these, do these all the time for little sprigs to just put in different places. It's a great layering piece. And these, these are the edge flowers. This is the only uh, flower set that I have with Scrap Divas, so I'm just using the heck out of this until I get another set. So <clears throat> those are the dies that I used in this project. I think I have them all here. I think that's all the dies that I used for this. So let me jump in and show you what I made. Okay, so here is a top view. Okay. And let me lay it down. Let's see, let me get this out of the way here a little bit so it's not quite so much in the way. So what I made is, here's the side. So I made um, the flower shaker mini album I made it into it has a bag on in it also so it's a mini and it's got a bag too <laughs> so um what I did this this is my I think I have four yeah four pages here so this is my front I'm using Maggie Holmes um, flourish for this project okay so I have it layered up um, layered up a uh, sticker on top of some pattern paper from the collection. Um, ruffled up some tool underneath here. Here, oh, I forgot that die. Hang on a second. Let me see where I put it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? <clears throat> Okay, I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> I'm not seeing it unless it's on the back of one of mine and I haven't turned it over. Okay, but anyway, even though you can't see it, what it is, is the um, butterfly rosette. Okay, it comes in two sizes also. Um, this one is the... I think this one's the bigger one. Okay. So this is the um, butterfly rosette. Very neat die to have also, also a must have. And it goes together super easy. <clears throat> Layered it up with some of the pieces from the bow die, okay? Here's some of the capsule leaves, and this is just a flower I already had in my stash. Put a cabbage on here in the middle. More capsule leaves. See what I mean, just kind of for layering. It's just super great. 
Okay, um, this um, I have just clipped on here. This I shared in a previous video, but this is the butterfly die, uh, butterfly bow. And so I have all four layers <coughs> um, layered up here, all four sizes. Some of them I stitched, some of them I have a tool layer. And then I also layered up all four sizes of the bow part, okay? And then I put a flower, that on a clip. Okay, and I just have that <clears throat> clipped right here. Okay, I put together my um, binder, my mini album with um, just, I just put two, I punched two holes and put two binder rings in, just tied a little bit of tool out here to the side for it to decorate it. <clears throat> okay, so then when we turn the page, so I have a couple of pages um, that are lined with like a, I use just the outlining, that the, this part you would use for to make the shaker. I didn't make a shaker out of the, either of these pages, but that's what that black line is. I decided to line it with black. So here is my um, bag maker right here. Okay. So I got it right here. So inside my bag maker, I have, I can fit, I got a cute little embellishment box that I just tied some little, you know, some beads and dangles and stuff to the top. Okay. So I have a, um, little embellishment box inside there and then also I made just some cute little um, paper um, bags that I decorate a little bit on the outside and put some of the um, cut aparts on the inside with a piece of um, you know this tiny ribbon I just stapled on with my tiny attacher from Tim Holtz and then I attached some of the other pieces outside and some of the ephemera pieces and stickers and some flowers I'm just kind of like, so there's three different ones so all of that it fits down inside. I mean, you can stick a lot of stuff in there. Um, so this is a great thing to use for a swap also. If you got to include, you know, some bigger things. So you can also, <clears throat> you know, kind of make it all in one if you wanted to. So anyway, I thought it was cute. And then when you get done, um, you know, if this is out of here, then the, the bag will fold up smaller. Okay. So that is in my bag maker section. Okay, this back of this I left plain just because I got a lot of bulk here because of stuff that I had made I put on. Okay, so I made um, a bunch more of the um, butterflies for the butterfly bow set. I have, again, this one has four layers with tool. I think I have all four layers with tool. Um, I had a video just recently, check it out. This is a, it was a tutorial on how to layer your die cuts with tool. That is super easy. So that is the bow. This has just got one layer of the bow part and then a little punched out center and then a cute little um, sticky uh, uh, sequin that I had forever and I attached them to um, paper clips. So, and then they're just attached with a glue dot back there so the person could take them off. And then this could continue to be a, um, you know, an album if they wanted to do that. Look how cute those came out. Okay, on the back side, this is where um, I put together some more of those um, edge flowers from Erica's set, and then I just attached a little piece of the capsella leaves um, on each of them. And again, they're just put down with some dots so the person can just pull them off and use them. So I think those turned out cute. Got a couple, I layered them in a couple different directions, and there's four layers of the petals, and I um, you know, I kind of curved them, and then I also, the top layer, I, you know, kind of pinched the leaves and, you know, kind of a bent them in half to give them more dimension. Okay. And then this last page, here is this liner piece again. That's the piece that you would use if you were going to make a shaker out of the al album. Okay. And then I used the cute little double loop scallop bow again. Um, it's double-sided paper, and then I also have... Um, uh, a bow from a piece of the bow from the other uh, from the butterfly bow set okay so I've used that in here to kind of layer on to there and again I've got capsule leaves layered out the sides and then I just popped up a cute little star on some foam okay and there's the background again these are just attached lightly so that the person could take them off and use them and that's the end Okay, so I think it turned out really cute, and what a fun way to, um, 
you know, send in something in a swap that you are, um, you know, participating in. This holds a lot of stuff. I could put a lot more in here. <clears throat> also, if I wanted to. So, look how cute that turned out. I love it. So, I think that turned out really cute. Here's another look at the sides. I didn't tie a lot of stuff on here on the sides. I just kind of just a little bit just to... I'm not sure what exactly I'm doing with this at this point. But I think it turned out beautifully. I don't know. What do you think? So, leave me a comment down below. I will have all of the information listed. So, I will um, link Erica's shop. <clears throat> I have an affiliate link, which I will um, list down at the bottom. I'll, I also have a discount code. It's Polka, P-O-L-K-A. 10 for 10 percent off discount at checkout if also if you use my affiliate links um, for these products um, it'll give me a little something off also um, i will have each of and a link to each of these dies that i used here so you can easily go find them and then um, a lot of these are some must-have dies so go check it out everything will be listed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye